let's use our knowledge of the fundamental principle of counting to solve a few problems what i'm saying is we'll use the words and and or to solve a few problems so let's get started here's the first one we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 we have these five digits using them we'll make some three digit numbers and our job here is to count how many three digit numbers can be formed and we're given that the digits are not allowed to repeat so if, if you have used four ones you cannot use it again for the next digit you'll have to pick something else so if you break our job down into its smaller parts this is what we have we have to fill a digit and another digit and another digit let me be careful about it we are filling this digit and we are filling this digit and we are filling this digit so we have these three things that we're doing and we have to do all three of them to finish our job so a quick recap of what i'm saying when we had to go from home to school we had these three options bus car and by walking so when we're going we're going either by bus or car or walking and when we're coming back we're using the car or the bus but when we're making a round trip when we're going to school and coming back we're doing both of them we're going and we're coming back so how do we use or and and or gives us a plus sign so we'll add a plus here a plus here and a plus here and and gives us a multiplication sign so we put a multiplication sign here and if we now count the number of ways we have 1 1 1 1 in fact 1 and 1 here but 1 plus 1 plus 1 so we have three ways to go and 1 plus 1 which means two ways to come back and 3 times 2 gives us six ways so we have a total of six ways of making a round trip from home to school and back and this thing here what we just did that's called the fundamental principle of counting all right let's get back to our problem so we have these five digits we're making a three digit number and to do that we're doing this and this and this now if you want to try it yourself pause the video give it a shot all right let's take a few examples So a three digit number would look something like this. Let's say we pick 1 for the first digit. So 1 goes here. Let's say we pick uh, something else. We can't pick 1. Let's say we pick 3 and 3 goes here. So 1 and 3 are gone. Now we are left with 2, 4 and 5. Let's say we pick 4. 4 goes here. So 134 is an example of a three digit number where the digits are not repeating. Let's take one more example. Let's say we start with 4 this time. So 4 goes here. now we can't use 4 we have these other options 1 2 3 and 5 so let's say we pick 3 3 goes here and then we are left with 1 2 and 5 so we'll pick 5 so 4 35 that's another example and we can keep going and keep counting all the three digit numbers but we'll be smart about it let's see what's happening here we have to fill these three digits for this first one for this yellow box how many options do we have well we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 we have these five options to pick from so i'm going to write down five ways this part of the job can be done in five ways what happens when we actually go ahead and pick a digit let's say we pick 3 3 comes here we have filled the yellow box and now we are filling this orange box how many options does this orange box have well it has 1 2 it doesn't have 3 because 3 is gone so 4 and 5 this box has only four options so how many ways to do this part of the job that's four ways let's say we picked one for this box so one is also gone and now we are moving to this pink box how many options left well one is gone and three is gone we have 2 4 and 5 so 2 4 and 5 well that's 1 2 and 3 there are only three ways let's say we ended up with two here so 3 1 2 that's one of those numbers but that's not important what we really care about is how many ways are there to fill these boxes and because we are filling the yellow box and the orange box and the pink box the total number of ways will be 5 times 4 times 3 that's 20 times 3 that's 60 ways so in total we have 60 three digit numbers where the digits are not allowed to repeat and by the way there's nothing special about the yellow box we could have started with the orange box or the pink box whichever box we started with we could have filled that box in five ways some other box would have been filled in four ways and the last remaining box would have been filled in three ways so no matter what we do we will always end up with 60 ways and if you don't believe me here are those 60 different three digit numbers let me put them down okay here they are you can pause the video and double check my answer none of these numbers have digits that are repeating let's go back to our digits 1 2 3 4 and 5 we have these five digits again the same question how many three digit numbers can be formed and this time 
we are saying the digits are allowed to repeat. We can go ahead and pick the digits as many times as we want. Before you go ahead and start solving, I want you to pause and think about this. What's going to be the answer? If you allow the digits to repeat, will you have the same number of numbers? Will it be less or will it be more than 60? The job is still the same. We are filling this digit and this digit and this digit. So fill this digit and fill this digit and fill this digit. So we are filling these three digits. For the first one, we have five options. One, two, three, four and five. So we can finish this part of the job in five ways. Let's move to the next one. How many ways do we have here? Well, whatever number we pick, let's say we pick three, three comes here. Whatever number we pick, that number still is available for this orange box. So even this box has five ways. One, two, three, four, five. So we can do this part of the job again in five ways. Let's say we pick three again. So three comes here. How many ways to fill this box? We have one, two, three, four, five. All five are available. So even this box can be filled in five ways. Let's say this time we pick four, we get a number 334. But again, this is not important. What's important is the number of ways. How many ways to fill this one? Five. This one, again five. This one, again five. And because we're doing all three of them, the total number of ways will be five times five times five. That's going to be five cube. That's 125 ways. That's way more than 60. In fact, that's more than double. And here are all those 125 numbers for you to enjoy.